Hello everybody and welcome back to the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube. I'm Tom Davis, America's Canine Educator. Thank you for joining me right here today. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've been here for a while, thank you for your loyalty. Today I'm working with a dog that lives in New York City has a really big disconnect with the owner and they're really just frustrated and, stick and sick of going out and getting pulled either which way, the dog not engaged with the owner, just completely disconnected. So today, from start to finish, I'm gonna start going through and really dissecting exactly why these things are happening and of course, putting these guys in a better relationship level and a better training level. Okay, so let's go over what, what you want to work on. Um, Lord. If I tell him to sit, he'll sit. If I have a treat in my hand, I'll tell him to go down, he'll do it. If I'm, let's say, walking, sometimes he's not interested in people at all. He'll mind his own business. Sometimes he looks like he's on my business, and all of a sudden he'll just go and launch. Um, on the elevator. Like one day we were waiting for the elevator, he was sitting next to me, the elevator door opened, he just went bonker, started barking, nipped me. So I don't know what provokes him and it's like when I try to, let's say we're walking and there's another dog walking and I try to take away his attention, I really have to like, you see how I have him on easy walk? I have to hold him on easy walk and the collar and like really yank him the other way. If he's interested in the other dog. In the other dog, yeah. And sometimes he's interested and he'll come up and he's... He's normal, but sometimes it depends on the dogs. They'll bark at each other. Like if it's a big dog, and notice that like with the neuter dogs, he has more reactivity yep. than with like the little fuzzy ones. I get him to listen to me. Okay. I want him to be obedient, like a hundred percent. Like I don't want to be like Lord, Lord, Lord. Okay. You know. All right. Let me. Yeah. Okay. So let me just see what he knows then. Okay. So just bring him out and just walk him around and let me see what he knows. Okay. Head with me. And I don't want that. I always have to like do this. And like struggle, yep. like really hard. Hey, leave it. Leave it. Lord. Okay. Let's say we're trying to cross the street. Lord, sit. Lord, sit. Good boy. Lord. See? Lord, I have to be looking for him. He's not looking at my face. You're, you're completely disconnected here. Yeah. All right. Okay, so bring him to me. I'll... Sit. Good. <clears throat> so the goal of the, the slip collar is to teach him what I want to do. So before it was do this, do that, do this, do that, no regard to anything. So you just right. But now he's not. <laughs> so I've I've he's not trained and he's not fixed. But now I can. Now I can. Yeah, now I can work with him, right? Because now he's, like, I'm not making him do anything. He's, he's made a decision, regardless of the anxious dog over there, he's made a decision to go, this makes a little bit more sense. So I'm going to tune this up and define it just a little bit more to get him really on, on tune with me. And then, um, good heel. So now I'm starting to mark the behavior. So good means, hey, you're doing something right. Heel means that that's the behavior I'm trying to capture. Does that make sense? Good heel. Good. So now I'm proofing him a little bit. So I'm changing directions, going this way. Does he follow? Yeah, good boy. Good heel. Does that make sense? Okay. Ah, ah. Good. Sit. Do it one more time. I want you to watch how many times I actually correct the dog and how many times I actually put pressure on the dog with the leash. Okay. Heel. So I, I ask him to go into gear. I didn't say, okay, buddy, let's do heel. I said heel. Okay. And I turn this way. That way, yeah, good boy. This way again, stop, paying attention, good. Auto sits, engaged, looked at me. Next step, heel, good. Heel, using my body, cutting him off. Good heel, buddy. Good, good, good. Good job, come on, come on, come on, yeah. Good heel, good, ah, the, sit. The point is, is it doesn't have anything to do with like what we think's going on in his head. Of like, oh, he's nervous, he's scared, um, it's the dog. It's like, it all has to do with you. Like, you're the nucleus of the entire equation. So you have to make sure that you're taking all these loose ends and you're straightening them out. Okay? Do you have any questions? 
He's excited because it's Pizza Friday, so he thinks he's going to get crust, so he starts to whine when the pizza comes in. But when I say heel, okay, I'm just going heel, and I walk forward. Left side, loose leash. I'm not looking at him. I'm not talking to him. I'm not having a conversation with him. I'm doing, I'm, I'm the one that can drive a car and has thumbs and all that stuff. I'm in charge. He's not. You follow? Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm going to switch directions. Turn this way. Good. Turn this way. Good heel. Good. Turn again, pivot. I'm going to ask him to sit. Ah, sit. If he doesn't, just a little pressure. Good man. Good sit. Rewarding. Good means, hey, I've done something. What have I done? Sit means sit. Yep. Does that make sense? Okay, so what you don't want to do is what everybody does, and you're probably going to do it too, is you don't want to put a lot of pressure on the leash, let the dog bounce from side to side, look at him, talk to him, um, walk super fast. You don't do any of those things. You're probably going to do it, and I'm going to tell you not to probably four or five times, but just make sure that you're trying to mimic what I'm doing because this, this equation works for us. See how calm he is? But the cool thing is, is like he's, he's, he's now going, <sighs> yes, he's, he, when he came in, he's like, oh God, what do we do? Who are you? What are we doing? Why are we doing it? Ba 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 Now he's like, you know what I mean? Okay, you want to give it a try? Break. <clears throat> well, you're his playmate because you're allowing him to be your playmate. You see? Hey, leave it. I wouldn't ignore. I would tell. I would like correct him. So grab the leash. Yeah, grab the leash and start walking. Okay. Right. Remember what we talked about. So uh, switch sides. There. Keep him on your left side. Put your arm down. Good. Walk back this way. Tell him to heal. Good. 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 <laughs> Good. Turn the other way. Stop, just put him in a sit. Good. So, um, do you have an auto sit with him? Is that, is, is that your thing? Do you want him to auto? Like, when I walk out of my apartment, this is my exit. I go this way, and these are the elevators. So, I don't want him to be jumping, so I'm trying to get him into the mode to like sit yep. without even me having yep. to tell him to sit. So, I'll just go like this and look at him. Yep. He sits. I mean, I could command him to sit. He does that too. So, yeah. So, a couple of things is like, when when we ask him to sit, like, I, I would start saying sit um, just because you're not always going to have the opportunity to posture up like that. And I, I think, like, the other thing is, is if you handed it off to him or you handed it off to me and I don't do this, right. he's not gonna if I say sit and he looks at me and he's like, I don't know what that is and I correct him, it's not fair to him. So, I would just, just say sit. yeah, be universal. You can have your own little say dialogue, it. but don't. Just make sure that it's successful for him because if anybody else walked him and asked him to sit and he didn't and we corrected him It actually end up being your fault, you know, because you're like, oh, no, he knows sit, but you have to Yes, and the other thing is too is like um, The next step which we're gonna get into which I haven't explained yet is make sure that you're being extremely binary with what you ask him to do Okay, so that means he's working or he's not so if you ask him to sit Don't don't let him get up do anything and else. right until you say break because the break is like a universal, do whatever you want. Yep. So when you say, hey, buddy, SIT, and he does it, and when you're having a conversation, he gets up like he did and walks away, the micro of it is the fact that he's not sitting anymore, which kind of sucks. But the macro or the bigger picture is the simple fact that he's no longer... Respecting and yes. no longer following he's di he, And he made a decision to say... We're not doing this. Right. And that's what's bubbling up throughout your relationship is Always. he's yeah. He's the leader, I'm the follower. So structure, right? If you just like kids, go to your room. They don't go into the room for five seconds and say, I'm bored and walk out, and you're like, oh whatever. Because then that's gonna bubble up everywhere. Do the dishes, one or two, and then walk away. Go to school, a couple periods and come home. It's you have to make sure that you're being consistent. It's not like a mili militant thing. You just say, and 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 it's not your fault. A lot of people don't know that like the sit command or the heel command is something that should be used over a duration until you say to stop. I always tell the child people it's like a standard car. Once you go into like first gear, it's not gonna come out of gear unless you it. Put, put it into neutral and you tell him to brake. So think about it like that. If you ask him to do something, don't let him just decide he when he's- He should do it anymore whenever he's ready. Yeah. Right. He still stands 